I'm now going to demonstrate the SOAP activity. Remember, we're a web developer and we're implementing a weather app where a user enters temperature to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the back-end interface logic between the application and the HTML segment displaying the temperature conversion. I have begun by creating a folder for my SOAP process and downloading my SOAP activity from the process library. We are going to be using a SOAP web service that is published by Boomi, and this is going to contain a WSDL and two methods called execute Celsius to Fahrenheit and execute Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can use whichever one you prefer. The first thing we want to do is to configure our web service connector. I'm going to click on the convert, the configure, and the general connector. We're going to see that the connector itself is a web service client. Notice that the action is type execute. We're going to click on the little pencil next to the connection which will take us into our web service, into our SOAP client connection. This is our SOAP client connection up here. We just want to point this out to you. This is where our web service is actually hosted. It's hosted on a cloud called USA West Integrate. Now we will all be able to use this cloud as long as we do not make any changes to the connection. We're going to close this. Just click on the close button. So now we're going to focus on the operation. We're going to click on the plus symbol to work on our operation and we're going to name this convert temperature. We're going to leave the connector action as execute for the behavior. We do not want to return application responses. We do want to click on the button and it is clicked on for us to expose the request envelope. We do not want to click on the response envelope and we will not be caching anything. However, we do want to click on the blue import button which is located to the right of our screen. This is our web services SOAP import wizard. We are going to select our connection, which will be the one that we've recently used, which is going to be the temp SOAP client connection. After we select this, we're going to leave the defaults with the options for the request envelope on and not to expose the response envelope and we will not be using a filter. We will click on Next. It will come up and it will ask us for the object. And we have a drop down here. We can do Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius, either one. I'm going to just leave the default of Celsius to Fahrenheit. I will then click on Next again, and then finish. So both of your imported profiles are now available to display. We're now going to click on Save and Close, and OK to save our connector shape. Next, we're going to work on our message and our map shapes. Now, we're starting off with a no data start shape, primarily because all of our information is going to be coming from our message shape. In the message shape, we'll be entering a temperature. You can enter any temperature that you would like. So if I put in zero, I'm coming from Celsius to Fahrenheit, I'm expecting a 32 as my answer. Next, I'm going to open up our map. And we're going to choose our destination profile. 
So we're going to click on the Choose button. And this is going to be a type of XML, which is the web service SOAP client Celsius to Fahrenheit execute request. I'm going to expand both sides. What we're going to do is we're going to move from the message shape to our web service SOAP connector. So we want to make sure that we map the appropriate fields. Now what we'll do is click Save and Close. I'm going to move this over a tad. We are going to drop and drag our connector and we're going to hook it up. I'm going to click on the Arrange to make it look nice. And now I'm going to run a test. I'm going to click on Test, the blue Test button. I'm going to select my Atom, which is going to be the Test Atom Cloud. And I'm going to run a test. Now that my test is complete, I'm going to take a look at my data. Now, you need to click on the stop shape after the web service to see your result. So when I click on the shape source data, what I'm going to find, I'm just going to click on the format, is that my result is 32 degrees. So remember, I passed in 0 Celsius and I got back 32 degrees. So that is our SOAP activity.